Hello learners, now let us see how to express minus 1 minus i root 3 in modulus amplitude form or polar form. What is this polar form? Polar form is nothing but r into cos theta plus i sin theta. r into cos theta plus i sin theta. Fine, polar form is this. Now, uh, in this there are two variables r and theta. If you can get those two, it's done. Now, what are the steps? Please follow me. Uh, take minus 1 minus i root 3 as x plus i y. Now compare the real parts, here the real part is x, here the real part is minus 1, so x is minus 1. Now beside i there is minus root 3, okay? the coefficient of i here is minus root 3. Okay, So and the co beside i we have y here, so y is nothing but minus root 3, please consider the sign also, don't forget it. Now the formula for r is r is nothing but under root of x square plus y square. Now just substitute minus 1 whole square plus minus root 3 whole square and there is an under root here minus 1 square is plus 1 because negative any negative number square will be positive here also uh, negative number square will be positive and root 3 whole square is nothing but plus 3 fine and so ultimately I'll get 1 plus 3 which is nothing but root 4 which is nothing but equal to 2 which is nothing but equal to 2 so ultimately r is 2 fine so one thing we got now next uh, how to get theta? There is a formula, okay. Tan theta is nothing but y by x, okay. Tan theta is nothing but y by x. From that, we can get the value of theta, okay. So, tan theta is y by x, y was minus root 3 and x is minus 1. So, minus minus cancel, ultimately, I'll get root 3. Now, listen, listen. The given complex number, the given complex number, it is, it can be written in the coordinate form as like minus 1, comma minus root 3. Like this one form we can. So basically x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is also negative. So it lies in the third quadrant. It lies in the third quadrant. Okay, see, listen. Uh, the argument that this theta, okay, this theta always has to be in for this form, it has to be lie in the third quadrant. Okay, so basically I need to choose a tan theta such that, uh, you know, uh, this, the value of this angle will lie in the third quadrant. Fine. So now the basic definition for argument is that argument of any complex number has to lie between minus pi to pi. Okay, it has to lie between minus pi to pi. Argument has to lie between minus pi to pi. Okay, minus pi is open and this is okay. So in, in, now here I need to get something in the third quadrant. Third quadrant means third quadrant means angle has to be between minus pi and minus pi by two. Minus pi and minus pi by two. So that's why here my angle is my I took my angle is angle as minus 2 pi by 3 fine in case if you want detailed expression how did i get this you know argument as uh, minus 2 pi by 3 please put it in the comment box i'll help you out there fine now next next so theta is nothing but minus 2 pi by 3 as minus 1 comma minus 2 3 lies in the third quadrant fine so that's it r we, we could get r we could get uh, theta so just substitute them uh, r into our polar form is r our polar form is r into cos theta plus i sin theta just substitute them it's done we are done with the polar form so thank you for staying with me up till now in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos fine thank you and also please check out the description uh, there are many other topics also covered so their links are present in the description please do check the description also and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it Thank you.